I have no comment. I don't, I don't blame the judge's instructions. I just felt as a matter of law, the position that we took uh, when those instructions were given were the, was the appropriate position, but the judge makes the decision. She's the boss. Do you appeal if necessary? We're going to appeal. Not a question. Absolutely. Do you feel justice was done? <laughs> I felt my client was innocent when I came into this case. As I'm talking right now, I believe my client's innocent. To the extent that a verdict says something different, I feel that was inappropriate. Michael, what did you say to Bridget afterward? Uh, I can tell she's extremely upset right now. Well, no, I mean, I told Bridget this is the first step in a process. This is the first step in a process. And, uh, this is not over. I assure you, we're going to have another news conference, but it may take a year or two, but it'll be a different news conference, and we'll be discussing different issues and a different, down, and a different result. Why did you not pursue the governor? Well, I'm not going to answer the question why I did or didn't pursue anybody in particular. What I will say is exactly what I said at the news conference that we had when the indictment was returned in May of 2015, which is at the time we indicted only the people who we believed we had evidence beyond a reasonable doubt, which as you know is the constitutional standard, evidence beyond a reasonable doubt to convict in this courthouse. So do you feel you've obtained true justice today? Well, I, I, what, I'm not sure how you, Alex, how you would characterize true justice. We believe that the evidence in this case more than adequately proved beyond a reasonable doubt that these two defendants were guilty of the crimes with which they were charged. Um, and that, for us, is a just result. And the message that I want people to take from this case is that when people do things in government, when they do things when they are supposed to be serving the public, and they take actions that in fact undermine the public's confidence in our ability to do our work because what they have done is so far over the line and is illegal that we have to seek them out and we have to see that they're punished.